Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, we are one day away from the scheduled day of the 2024 Daytona 500. We've been counting down the card numbers 104 through, guess what? We are on four. So we've counted 100 different card numbers, stats and everything from them. So we're going to finish this up four, three, two, and one. We'll get zero up in the morning before the 500. Maybe. <laughs> As we all know, it's raining at Daytona, so we'll see what happens with the 500. The Xfinity race has always, already been postponed to Monday. Um, but we'll definitely finish the countdown. Maybe we'll get some other videos in before we get that uh, green flag drop for the 2024 season. If not, there's a, we're going to wait till next year and finish up some videos and do some stuff for next year as well. But, all right, so card number four. Um, obviously, I know a lot of people, when they think of, when I've talked about this in videos, a certain card number means so much to certain people. You know, for me, four is the Kodiak four, uh, Morgan McClure Racing, Sterling Marlin, two-time Daytona 500 champion, and Ernie Irvin drove it. Um, Mike Everett Wilson drove it, among others. And then you obviously think of Kevin Harvick. I was never a Harvick fan. Um, I actually caught part of the I Am Harvick uh, documentary or whatever on uh, Fox today because of Fox FS1 because of the uh, qualifying being delayed. Damn, some of that I had no idea. It, yeah, you didn't, you know, back then you didn't have the access you do now, and kind of a pretty craziness, you know, him going talking to Richard about driving the three car and or number twenty nine and saying if you don't want to do it, we'll put Rick Mast in the car. It's like whoa, what? Uh, that was nuts. But anyway, so we're gonna get down here to the stats as a car number four. Um, 1,799 races, 82 wins, five, 378 top fives, 692 top tens, 1,143 top twenties, 70 poles. That's for everybody that drove the four car in the Cup Series. Xfinity, 957 starts, 7 wins, 42 top fives, 131 top tens. Truck Series, 535 starts, 30 wins, 123 top fives, 215 top tens. All right, for the Cup Series, Kevin Harvick leads the way with 360 starts. 37 of his career wins, 151 top fives, 235 top tens, 25 poles, an average finish of 10.9, and that championship. John Sears, 289 starts, 45 top fives, 115 top tens, two poles, average finish 15.8. The 1960 NASCAR champion, Rex White, 168 starts, 26 wins, 90 top fives, 121 top tens, 27 poles, average finish 8.4. Sterling Marlin, 125 starts, 6 wins, including 2 Daytona 500s, 21 top 5s, 49 top 10s, average finish, 17.3 with 2 poles. Swervin Irvin, Ernie Irvin, drove it 105 times in the number 4 Kodiak car, 7 wins, 33 top 5s, 51 top 10s, 9 poles, average finish, 14.4. Bobby Hamilton, 101 starts, 1 win, 4 top 5s, 20 top 10s, 1 pole, average finish, 21.6. Rick Wilson, 93 starts, 4 top 5, 17 top 10s, 1 pole, average finish, 21.4. Mike Skinner, gunslinger, 50 starts, 1 top 10, average finish, 28.5. Casey Kane, 36 starts. Now, when he drove the 4, it was for Red Bull Racing. It was the 4 Red Bull car. Um, that was the year before he went to, or the year after, the year before he went to uh, Hendrick. One win, eight top fives, 15 top tens, two poles, average finish to 15.6. Billy Myers, 17 starts, one win, five top fives, seven top tens, average finish 12.5. John Soares, five starts, one win, two top fives, three top tens, average finish 19.4. Bob Wellborn and Al Keller each had two starts, one win, one top five, one top ten. I'm oh, sorry, one, one start, one start, one win, one top five, one top ten. Xfinity Series, number four, Ross Chastain, 140 starts, two top fives, 13 top tens, average finish, 18.9. Jeff Purvis, 129 starts, two wins, 19 top fives, 44 top tens, average finish, 18.3. Joe Thurman, 115 starts, four top fives, 22 top tens, average finish, 16.7. Mike Wallace, 91 starts, one win, two top fives, eight top tens, average finish, 21.3. Landon Castle, 60 starts, 2 top 10s, average finish, 23.4. Bailey Curry, 37 starts, 1 top 10, average finish, 25.0. Jeffrey Earnhardt, 
Drove the four car in Xfinity for 33 starts. Average finish 26.3. Jesse Little, 31 starts, two top tens. Average finish 20.8. Ernie Irvin, 22 starts, two wins, six top fives, six top tens. Average finish 23.9. Now, in the truck series, Bobby Hamilton, 66 starts, eight wins, 25 top fives, 39 top tens. Average finish 11.1. Ricky Carmichael, when he drove the four monster truck, our monster energy sponsor truck, 66 starts, four top fives, 18 top tens, average finish 16.4. Christopher Bell, 46 starts, this was for KBM, six wins, 24 top fives, 38 top tens, average finish 7.6. John Hunter Nemechek, four KBM, 45 starts, seven wins, 22 top fives, 31 top tens, average finish 10.8. Ty Gill, <gasps> Todd Gilliland, 4 KBM, 42 starts, 1 win, 10 top 5s, 23 top 10s, average finish 11.4. Timothy Peters, 32 starts, 3 top 10s, average finish 21.4. Eric Jones, 4 KBM, 1 season, 23 starts, 3 wins, 11 top 5s, 20 top 10s, average finish 6.3. Chase Purdy, 1 start for KBM, 23 starts, 3 top 5s, 11 top 10s, average finish 14.6. Raphael Lassard, 23 starts, 1 win, 4 top 5s, 7 top 10s, average finish 15.3. And then Jeb Burton, 22 starts, 1 win, 5 top 5s, 11 top 10s, average finish 11.3. So that is car truck number 4. As we are counting down to the 2024 Daytona 500, which is one, well, scheduled to be one day away. Might be two days away. We'll have to wait and see what Mother Nature throws at us. But that is card number four. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader, sports content.